Keegan Hart wide open, buries the triple. Najee Smith with another three. 25 feet out, that's good from Shaver. Boise State wins it! Welcome inside Extra Mile Arena basketball fans. We're in Boise for a matchup between the 4 and 2 Boise State Broncos and the 1 and 4 CSUN Matadors here inside Extra Mile Team. Arena. And in the middle, the tip off is won by Oni Aisi for the Matadors. And that gets us underway. First offensive set going to the visitors. Ball quickly into the hands of Bostic. And you'll see a lot of right and Bostic first attack of the basket is swatted by Dagenhart. However, this is Deshaun Allen Ikins for three. And after he gets his shot blocked, he comes back for a tray. <laughs> and they just kind of grab it, get it to the guards, and let him go to work. Well, that didn't work. Right hits the floor. Shaver's got the steal. A little bit of trouble in transition, <laughs> but he'll finish with ease. He's not, uh, he's not loose. First touch for Ethan Abanaogo. And down low, that is Oni Aisi, the 6'9 senior. And the entire basketball game. That's Trent Johnson's way. That's the way he's always done it. They're going to guard you and guard you hard. Taking hard. Nice little slip to the basket. Watching career across the country. Oh. Three ball on its way. Another one knocked down. It's Ethan Abonogo. Oh, Shaver. That's nice. <laughs> oh. Doesn't go down. Smith fighting on the offensive and the third chance. No, Schaefer. Schaefer with the putback. <laughs> the kid has a nose for the ball. He Schaefer, he's wide open. Can't hit it, but Nganga on the offensive glass. Finds Schaefer, creates contact, and scores off the glass. Rockers looking for the lead. Milner. That won't go. Second chance. Yes. Really doesn't want to be that way. They're going to, they want to guard you, then they want to put up a lot of points. Bostic to the free throw line. That's a tough shot. Get out of bounds. Played by Boise State. Didn't turn out very well, though. All right. Read that the whole way. Takes it the length of the court and scores the fast break points. Well, I think Tyson Degenhardt just really has to touch the ball. Every possession down for Boise State. There's Abo finally gets going. His first make, it comes from beyond the arc. On the drive, a nice finish from Allen Eikens, who's been getting more involved here. How about Tucker for CSUN on the free throw line? Big fella's got a great, great stroke. It's made all four so far. Degenhart underneath, going to work. And one, count the basket for the sophomore. Here, a huge catalyst for Boise State during the tournament. Smith with the offensive rebound. Swing it to Degenhart. Rice is open straight away. Three ball. Front rim. Offensive rebound. Another one for the Broncos. Oh, Najee. Good spin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Najee Smith on the dribble. We haven't seen it yet tonight. There's Najee. Smith oh. for three. Left wing, and he's got it. Abo in transition. Throw it up. For Rice, knocks it down for the third Bronco three. Smith spins. Oh, we got to the basket, but lost the basketball. Rice, back to back threes, cash. <laughs> it's a little street ball right now. Again, we're down at the Y. Two big buckets by Max Rice. The Bostic. Under 10 on the shot clock, left corner, little pump fake, and Eichen steps inside. He's got eight on the night. Couple of steals in the contest now. Bostic slashes his way through, count the bucket. Nice finish from the 6-6 guard. A Valley Conference, but went on the biggest stage. Bostic will want the ball in his hands. Double teamed in the paint. Abonogo over Smith, and he's got it for the lead. Broncos can hold for the final shot of the first half. Shaver, tough take. Out for Rice, another offensive rebound. Finds Shaver down low, switches oh. hands. He gets fouled, almost made it look spectacular. Shots.
for free throw Marcus Shaver. Percent as a team on the year. Of course, that's a number they'd like to see go up. But Shaver makes both to reestablish the Boise State lead. CSUN with just under three seconds to go to work to half court. That's way off left, off the hands of Fidelis Okarike. And for Boise State, they go into the locker room with a lead, but it's a slim margin, just one point, 28-27. Like it was in the first half for Boise State, baskets tough to come by to start the second. Degenhardt, he's got the mismatch. Boy, Little baby hook. Soft. So soft. Tyson Degenhardt just can hurt you from so many different spots. 24, 25, 26-year-olds playing against 18-year-olds. Whiting for three. Got it. Oh, boy. Chase Whiting, that was a really big three. Something different. And that's what Tyson Degenhardt is going to attempt to do right here. And Tyson Degenhardt does it beautifully. Fakes left, spins back right. Well, guards, gods won't allow it. And there is the first make for CSUN in the half. He comes to a cutting. Rice flips it out to the corner. Shaver at the rim. Boy, he's just really fun to watch. Again, that go. Eight on the shot clock. Bostic. Nice finish. Matches exact. Push it the other way. Left to right goes Whiting. Shaver wide open from downtown. Martin Shaver is catch. Boy, he's not going to miss many of those. Wide open. His second foul of the night. Matadors go back to work offensively. That's eight and right. And that is creating your own shot. Movers, and they certainly are right. Left wing three is wide open. And Boise State can't afford to give out too many of those. That's a Bulldog team that won 20 games last year. Max Rice to the basket, and he extends the Bronco lead. Pride in their defense, and uh, they're showing it again tonight as they have all season and last season. I mean, last season, they were very good defensively. Whiting from the corner. Wants a triple, give him three. Three. Right to the corner. Mm -hmm. There is a big bucket mm -hmm. and a necessary bucket from Abanogo. Favor into attack mode, finds Degenhardt up and under. Boy, one of the first date is so fortunate. Matadors have had so many good looks. Foul called as Shaver went to the 10 to make eight and push that to four straight games with Second free throw, makes that two. So play, the Broncos are up by eight and the Bronco bench all turns to look away as Wright makes it and gets fouled. It's an and one, a non-conference schedule. As Wright makes the free throw, it's a five point game. Pac-12 Colorado, Texas A&M would be in South Carolina. Based on some of the results, Shaver makes both free throws. So on a night where Boise State struggling at the line, Shaver's been there, Prince Charming. One, two, two trap, and then back to man. Blocked by Smith, second shot is a foul. I thought they were gonna call it goal 10, but they call it foul. Downtown. Broncos trying to get it over the line. They do to Shaver. He's gonna try to burn some clock, and he'll get fouled by Ethan Abonogo. Doors as well. Carolina in game number two of the Myrtle Beach Invitational. And Marcus Shaver makes them both. So you talk about him being huge. Eight of nine at the free throw line. He's got eight of Boise State's nine made free throws. A lot of time being wasted by Bostick. He takes a tough shot with Whiting. Saved to Dagenhart, who gets fouled with 9.5. And that should do it. Saturday, gone through the toughest stretch of non-conference. Yeah, I think the Boise State coaching staff really understood this game would be like that. I mean, that's just how Trent Johnson teams play. And Rice gets the steal. That will seal it. And the Broncos will win by nine. 55-46 for CSUN. The slide continues. They have lost their fifth straight contest, while Boise State has won their fourth straight. And this CSUN team, we said it all night long, so much better with that 1-5 record. They came to Boise, and they put up an outstanding effort.